Red Bull Music Academy weekender with Atandu Akani. And I'm actually really excited to see you. You are jet setting all over the world and you're dancing. Should we just dance? Get, get down, girl. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. You're, what, what have you been doing lately? Tell me, because I know you've been all over the world, but I think you're going to explain it better than me. Yeah, um, a lot, a lot. I mean, I'm shooting a season two of a series now that's very popular in SA. I am in Durban in September the 15th at the Hilton Festival, performing Cesar Bynes is Dead, directed by Dr. John Carney. Um, there's a movie that I shot uh, called The Suit by Ken Temba that's going to the Urban Film Festival in New York that we're attending from the 21st. Um, visiting my wife in New York, um, planning lots of things next year that haven't been sort of um, signed yet. So you just mentioned um, a lot of projects and as someone who works on a lot of projects, I know you have one that is your passion project. You think about it before you go to bed, you think about it when you wake up. Which one is that? I was literally born in theatre because my old man is a theatre god, theatre genius. So whenever it's a theatre project, that's what I love doing. That's where you replenish the soul and you get rejuvenated with all the stuff that you do. So my project now that, that you're asking about is Cesar Bynes is Dead, um, which is damn near the hottest play I've ever done because you've got a 30 minute monologue up front alone before the next character comes on. So that's the one that really is riveting and really speaks to me the most. Um, that's the one at the Hilton Festival in September and I'm looking forward to that one the most. When you talk to your dad about, about theater, what, what kind of conversations are you having about theater today in South Africa? Well, I mean, when I talk to my old man, we talk about responsibilities and um, what a man is about. That's my, my old man is not an actor, Dr. John Khan is the actor. So when I talk to him about theatre, it's about holding theatre and representing it in a modern day South African um, times as a young black man and what that means, literally. And, and what I hate calling myself is a South African theatre maker. I'm, I'm a theatre maker across uh, all countries, across the world. But we talk about the pertinent issues that have evolved now, so we don't be stuck on the issues of apartheid and the past. We can be informed by it, but we're not going to be ruled by it. So we talk about how you as an individual, as a singular entity, move theatre scope forward. Now I want to, I've, I've heard whispers of a possible Oscar nomination, but, but they're there's a process to this. Talk, yeah. talk me through this process. Well, I mean, when you shoot a film, it goes through various um, film festivals, yeah. like um, the suit that we've shot. Go, it went through the Zanzibar International Film Fest, the uh, Scotland International Film Fest, the Durban International Film Fest, um, the Short Film International Film Fest, and now it's going to the Urban Film Fest. And if it does well there, meaning if it's very pertinent and people see it as riveting and very valid in terms of what's going on in the p current political social climate, it will be seen as something that should be seen by a wider scope of people. And I think the suit is that. And after that, it goes to the Oscars. But it's a very long and hard process. So hopefully we get there. What kind of reception has it had so far? Oh, amazing, amazing, because this, it hasn't been shot as a film before. And um, so this is the first time it's, it's been done as a play by Bonnie Simon and Dr. Kani and Silo Makakangu, but this is the first time it's been done as a film. So it's the first time the South Africans are seeing their work in, on, you know, in the silver screen. So it's been amazingly well received and people are loving it and loving the performances because it's so intense. And it's an intense storyline and narrative, so they're loving it. They really, really are taking to it and owning it as a African story. Now, very, very briefly, tell us um, what we can expect from the film. From the film, um, an intense South African story told that is pertinent to our progression as a people, not only black, but it deals with the history of the forced removals in Sophia Town. So it, it's a history lesson on its own, but it's also a lesson in humanity and how human beings deal with an issue and love and relations and perspective. So, and amazing performances and a sexy ass actor called Atanokani, you can expect that. He's, he's bloody sexy and I love him to bits.